Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, sorry, <laughs> uh, I am going to be decluttering bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. I have everything over here. I'm going to separate them into categories and lay them all out in front of me and try it a bit differently because I realized uh, after my eyeshadow palette decluttered video. I mean, I knew it before I uploaded it, but I was too lazy to fix it. Some of the palettes that I was, I was like showing, especially my Lorac Mega palettes, I lifted them up too far and they went out of frame. Um, but I was like, you know, they can Google it. So you guys are smart. Um, so yeah, I just uploaded it anyway. <laughs> but I figured uh, maybe we just try to put differently since these are smaller um, items, I can just lay them out and then you'll just see my hands for the rest of the video until the outro. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good specifically about the blushes because as I was gathering everything, I was like, yeah, definitely gonna get rid of this. So we'll see. Um, like I said before, I'm not trying to brag. This is just more so for me to be mindful of the things that I have, the things I'm going to be bringing in. Um, you know, my tastes have changed. A lot of stuff I've tried you know, before, but so long ago that I can't remember how I feel about it. Some I'm just not interested in, uh, some I haven't tried yet, and yada, yada, yada. So, um, just gonna get to it. Okay, guys, these are my hands. Um, these are all my bronzers. If you hear weird licking noises, I have a dog. If you see hair all over the table, I have a dog. I obviously shed myself, so there's that. <laughs> So yeah, basically let's just get into it. These are all my creams. I'm keeping all of them. I love the Wet n Wild. That's so faded. Uh, the Mega Glow Baton de Maquillage um, makeup stick contour in Call Me Maple. I used it today. Um, the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick in Baked. A Jessica Braun recommendation. I think Jamie Page Beauty loves that too. And then another Jessica Braun recommendation, the Buridi bronzer. This I haven't used all that much. I mean, you can see I've used it. I just haven't used it a lot. It's just because it, um, I mean, it looks dry, but it takes a lot of work to get the product up. It's not very emollient, which I guess might help for staying power. But I mean, honestly, I kind of like that worn in <laughs> makeup look, if you could describe it that way, just because I don't like looking so perfect because to me, it's just not realistic. Um, and I, I'm never like super done up anyway, like full face or anything. I hardly ever um, do that. But anyway, um, what else? This I freaking love. This is one of my favorite bronzers ever. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. I haven't hit pan, okay, but I really do like it. It's, uh, I believe, Alana's, one of Alana's favorites. This is really nice packaging. It's weighted. It's uh, nice metal. This thing goes all the way around. I mean, not that that matters, but yeah, it's the Be Sun Kissed Bronzed Beauty Bronzer Duo, I guess. I don't, it doesn't say Bronzer Duo, but I mean, or two tones, okay? So, love that, keeping it. Um, dang, I don't know. I don't, I don't hate any of these, you know what I mean? This, I love, the Laguna, but this is the Sun Washed Diffused Bronzer, I think it's called. And I really like this. Um, it's weird because you don't get a lot of like powder kick up, so it looks like I haven't used it very much and it's not very, you know, dirty. But I don't know, that's just, I guess, the way that it's pressed. Um, I think a lot of their like newer uh, powders are pressed with this pattern and it just doesn't kick up a lot, which is nice because then your makeup doesn't look so dirty. But I mean, the outer packaging does. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Keeping that, I love my butter bronzer. You can tell I've used that, the pattern's got some wear and tear. Um, I really like this uh, Smashbox bronzer. This is the warm matte shade. Excuse you, Indy. Oh, the brother bronzer I wear in the shade bronzer. It was like, I think one of the first shades that they had, but there's that. Um, I love this Fiona Styles Western bronzer. You can't get this anymore, but that's not my problem, is it? <laughs> Just kidding. Excuse you, sir. Um, ugh, 
this sucks because I really like you know I have my loves um but I don't like absolutely hate anything here hmm I mean collection declutter you know what I mean actually I know I can declutter this this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer and I don't like this uh it's just got a lot of like weird shimmer and I think that it looks weird on my complexion so I'm gonna get rid of that I don't think I've ever used it I think I used a mini and um yeah and then I got this free in like an order or something like that and I just I was not about that life so I'll declutter that Ooh, we got one um hmm like this uh chocolate sole bronzer from Too Faced so I'll keep that I also like the Sun Bunny this is kind of um, not, not a dupe, but it's got, you know, the same concept as the Lila B Sunkissed bronzer. So, I really like that. Um, uh, I don't know what I want to, I think I'm going to declutter these. I like them for different reasons. I like this one. For this powder but i don't powder a lot this contour shade is a true contour shade in my opinion but i don't really contour so they're good and that's why i like them the quality is good i just don't think that the shade it looks nice on me this one however i do like this bronzer a lot more because it's warmer has a more uh, red undertone i think it looks more realistic against my um complexion but this yellow powder again i don't powder and i don't know what i would do with a yellow powder so I think I'll get rid of those and I mean they're five bucks so if I ever want them again which I doubt um I can just pick them up again so there's that now these sorry I'm like making beats here hmm I really like so these are kind of new to me I think like the last or the last last um what is that called? Also the 21 Days of Beauty thing. These were 50% off. So I got these three actually, which was completely unnecessary. Um, but I did, okay. <laughs> and I've not used them a lot because I've been like hooked to my matte like bronzer stick. And then I've been trying this one out and I've really been loving this one. So I kind of like, I don't know, through the powders by the wayside and that goes for uh blushes and highlighters as well i'm like making facial i'm very like facially expressive and i'm making faces <laughs> as if you guys can see it which i guess might be a good thing but this i remember using this one time um i mean i've used it more than once but there was one time out of those times that i've used it um where i put a little too much and my nose looked golden because i do like the whole w thing like cheekbones and then across um you know my nose and whatever i don't just chisel my cheeks and i was just like whoa why does my nose look like it was i don't know gilded or something like that so um thank god i looked at the mirror before i left the house like really looked because you couldn't really tell from far away but up close and I, I work very closely to people um so yeah that was scary so i'm gonna mess with that a little bit more this i've I don't think I've used this at all. Yeah, this doesn't look touch at all. So I'm gonna try this, but I have a feeling I'm gonna declutter it because now that I'm looking at it, it's like way, like this gold is way too shimmery. Like it, it looks too deep for a highlight on its own, but it looks too golden and too shimmery to really be nice, even when swirled, at least on my complexion. That's just my assumption. So we'll see about that. Indy, can you, He's doing that weird, like, I'm sure he's not the only dog that does it, but like that, I don't know, I call it swimming, because I don't know what else to describe it as. It just looks weird. <laughs> so anyway, um, this I've used a little bit. I want to use it a little bit more. It's so crazy because bronzers, I mean, a bronzer is a bronzer is a bronzer, a brown powder is a brown powder is a brown powder, but then you look at them like side by side and you're like, yeah, but it's really not. And then you kind of think, well, how do both of these work on me if they're two entirely different shades? So bizarre, but I'm going to keep that. Um, and then we have these four 
This I've not used. I stocked up on these um, like forever ago and I haven't used it just because I've been using other things. So I'll try this out. You can't get this anymore. Um, I mean, it might be expired. Who knows? But I just go based on, you know, the appearance. Uh, the performance, if it smells weird or looks weird and it looks fine. So, I mean, it's my face. I don't share my makeup with anybody. Um, but this is the Becca Sunrise Waves. And, oh, I guess it's in, oh, okay. It separates the, so we have Bali Sands, which I don't know which strip that would be. Capri Coast. Uh, bronze Bondi and then opal on the sides. Um, I used this in the past and I thought it was a little too like shimmery glittery for me. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll try it again. Maybe it was just the way that I like dip my brush in it. I don't know. But I could see myself getting rid of that. This one I can definitely see myself getting rid of because this is way too deep, at least for me right now. Uh, bronze Bondi. It looks way too deep, way too red. Excuse you. <laughs> um, but I do get quite dark in the summertime. Two years ago, my forehead crusted over. So, um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I was hiking in Portugal. So that like wasn't intentional. But anyway, this is the Pixie Beauty Bronzer in Subtly Suntouched, and I have not used Indy. Come on. Go do something with your life. Go get a job. Um, except you can't. Because we're self isolating. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've not used this a lot, but I do like a lot of Pixie products. Okay, not a lot. But the few that I've tried, I really do enjoy. Um, so, we'll hang off to that. So, getting rid of these three, which isn't a lot, but. Whatever, okay? On to blushes. I'm gonna lay all these out and then we'll come back. Okay, so, so these are all of my blushes and feel pretty good, so we'll see. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, if I did, I'm sorry, but, um, whoa, that was my stomach. I'm not decluttering for the sake of decluttering, so. I don't really have a number or a goal in mind or whatever. Anyway, I know I can get rid of all of these Laura Geller, Laura Geller blushes. That's Laura Geller blushes. Um, yeah, so these are two of the same thing. These are the Baked Heart Blush and Highlight Pink Valentine French Vanilla. Just too like glitter shimmer. I, I don't I don't like it. Um, there's that. And that's something that's like I haven't used it in so long and I remember not liking it, so I'm okay with letting it go. Um, other things I remember not liking it, but maybe, you know, I can try like a different primer or a different method of application, something like that. Um, that I, I'm just, I'm just not interested in, you know, experimenting. Same goes for the Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream and the Berry Trifle version. This was just like crazy, crazy, crazy shimmer. Um, and this, it doesn't look like it would be, but it is. So, yeah, like if you compare the two, this looks like it would be outrageously shimmery, but this is also not to that extent, but still, it's just, it's too much for my liking. Um, so yeah, getting rid of those four. Then, um, I know some of them are out of frame. I'll, I'll push them along as, as we go. I just have a lot of crap here. So, all right. Now, I know I can get rid of this um, NYX Soft Spoken High Definition Blush. This was really popular uh, back in the day. Um, my, the freaking window broke here. And it just pisses me off. I just think it's way too light for my complexion. Um, I'm not sure. I think I've had this in the older version, um, the more cumbersome packaging, but um, I, I could be mistaken. I don't know, but I, I feel like this is not the same. Um, I feel like there was another version of this and then it got repackaged 
into this and it just wasn't the same. Um, let's see what else. This Fiona Styles um, Valley Blush, it's the Soft Cheek Veil. I feel like this is way too light for my skin tone as well, as is this Clinique Nude Pop. Um, actually, I mean, I thought they looked the same, but This is a little bit deeper. This, I don't know, I'll try it, but I can see myself getting rid of that. Uh, definitely getting rid of these two Afterglow blushes. This is Kinky and this is Indecent. Kinky just looks weird. It's like too shimmery golden for me. I don't think gold is like, I don't mind like shimmer, but I don't like if the shimmer is not, um, blending in like you can tell it's just well i don't know maybe you can't tell but it just looks too golden and i don't know to me it just looks artificial on the, on the skin and then this indecent shade is like what is that i don't know it's very similar to this cargo uh can blush but this has a little more pop to it and i like this formula so get rid of those two definitely getting rid of this stupid butter blush um in natural glow it doesn't show up on my skin the color doesn't show but the shimmer does and then it just looks like this golden sheen on my face and it, i don't like it um, not a fan of like gold highlights um so yeah then we can get rid of this one this pains me but it is the burberry uh earth earthy blush in number seven light glow there's that it's just way too light on my skin um i should have known because uh estee lalonde loves this blush i remember mentioning it in a video um years ago but i mean she's i'm not the deepest uh person but i'm not uh, as fair as she so i mean it makes sense that it works for her complexion and not mine um, then, oh my gosh, these are annoying. These Wet n Wild Ombre blushes, I got these, um, the first go around and then they were re-released and at that point I was just so mad at these that I didn't care to, uh, purchase the reformulated version, but these just, they don't do anything. They don't, they, uh, they're kind of like this, like it just shows this golden streak on my face. I don't know, it's weird. This is the Ombre blush in... Um, oh, Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. And then this is the one, the Princess Daiquiris. I hate them both. So there's that. Um, then we're going to get rid of these other, I'm not, I don't mean to pick on Wet n Wild, but I don't like the new formulas of their blushes. I, I liked when they were in the more square pan. Um, and then they had that pressed, like swirly pattern in it. These, um, I, I don't know, I didn't like them, but the Rosé Champagne and then the Apricot in the middle. Getting rid of those, annoying. Getting rid of this Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swoosh and Pop Blusher in First Love. It's just, again, too light. I wish I had saved my money and gotten the um, Pillow Talk version. That's what I would get instead of that. Um, you know what? I am going to get rid of this because why? Why bother? You know what I mean? Um, let's get some stuff that I love out of the way because this is getting kind of wild. The Cloud Paint by Glossier in Dusk. Love this. You can tell I've used quite a bit of it. The Beauty For Real Blush and Glow Cream Blush and Luminizer in Coral Crush and High Beam. This is the highlight and this is the blush. I enjoy using this. I used this recently. So, oh, it smells good. It smells like vanilla like vanilla frosting or something. Um, getting, not getting rid, uh, keeping those, keeping my Anastasia um, Trio and Peachy Love. This blush trio. Keeping the NARS Madly and Dolce Vita. Uh, who mentions this? Kathleen Lights. She raved about this for years, so I had to get it. 
Um, then we've got my Majorette Cream Blush. I like to use that every once in a while. Um, this Burt's Bees Blush. Sorry, there's like hair everywhere, but this is real life. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I thought I would like this on me, but I don't. I don't know. There's something, I don't know if it's the tone or I like, it's in the shade, um, uh, what, Bare Peach. I wish I would have gotten Toasted Cinnamon, but, oh wait, this is not it. <gasps> no. Oh, it's right here. Jeez. I thought I lost my favorite, um, Becca Blush. This is Wild Honey. And I don't know. I thought I would like it more just because it's more pigment pigmented, but I feel like this goes better when I want to be like bronzed and not have my cheeks like stick out but i want them to look sun-kissed as well so this is really really nice it's one of my fave fave fave, fave blushes fave this one i'm gonna get rid of um you know what i'm gonna get rid of this too uh i've hardly used it i'm just not interested so whatever then let's see i love all these uh b matte blushes by city color they are awesome. They hardly look like I've worn them because they, you, they are so pigmented. You just need the tiniest bit. So I have papaya, blackberry, fresh melon, guava. I love the names. Blood orange. And I believe this is dragon fruit. Yeah. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to get rid of this Master Highlight by Face Studio in 10 Nude. It just doesn't show up very much on my cheeks. So we're going to get rid of that. Pulling them in, pulling them in. I love this Studio Makeup Blush in Wildflower. And the uh, Smashbox Blush Rush in Passion. These are really, really nice. So I love my Dallas. Love this CoverGirl Cheekers in shimmering sands or i don't know it says one of i'm sorry whoa dyslexic 160 s r r s n d s so i'm assuming that means shimmering sands so keeping that um this snapdragon by becca is way too intense and i'm sure with a light hand it would look fine but i don't like to use any of my makeup um carefully you know i, I like it to be fun i don't like it to be something that i have to um think too much about and if I have to be too careful with something to me it's just not worth it so you know I don't, just want to throw things on the face okay this gen nude is new to me it's the um bare minerals on the mauve shade love video um sorry if I don't show you all of these I'm not swatching it's not that kind of video I'm just trying to get through this stuff and show you my collection but at the same time you know uh hope to get rid of stuff keeping my two tart blushes in exposed classic but this is my favorite sensual and kathleen lights also raised like that so duh um these two are so similar spring flock and what i fancy and i just feel like I don't know, these kind of, these kinds of colors, I'm always kind of like, I'm, I've used them before and I've used other shades too. And they're kind of um, scary because they look like they would be powdery. But every time I use them, I'm like, huh, it's like just a nice, fresh little pop of color on the cheeks. And I love it. But I think they're too similar to the point that I don't need both. So I'm going to keep spring flop and let go of what I fancy. Um, this... I'm just, you know, I'm not interested. This is the Bye Bye Pores Blush by It Cosmetics and Naturally Pretty. I'm just not into it. These two I just got um, from Colormates. This is Tawny Peach and this is Sun Kissed Tan. I found these at uh, Big Lots. Love Big Lots. So there's that. I'm keeping this. This is Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush in Coral. So that shows up a lot better. Frat Boy, again, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of like, eh, like, not, it doesn't excite me. It's it's not really about the quality, it's just it doesn't excite me. So if it doesn't excite me, I'm, it's just going to sit and rot in my collection. Same thing with this Balm Beach, it's just blah, I don't know. This is very unassuming. It looks like it wouldn't be a lot, but it is. So keeping that, it's the Lorac Prism Buildable Blush. 
and these two love flush blushes from Too Faced, Baby Love, and I Will Always Love You. Keeping that. Keeping that. And then these by Laura Geller. I don't know. These are very, very, very pigmented. I don't know what to do. Um, because uh, I do like them. But I just said I don't enjoy having to be careful. And with these, I have to be careful. Actually, with these, I have to be careful, too. I don't know. They excite me. Like, I, I don't mind having to, you know what I mean? Um, I don't mind having to work a little harder at these because they do excite me. Whereas the other ones, I'm like, you know, I'm not even excited to use it. So I'm just putting in effort for literally no reason. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to cut it off there. This is everything that I'm keeping. And then this is everything that I am, ow, my life fell asleep, getting rid of. Push it to the side here so I can see. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, that was not a good idea. But yeah, this is everything that I am getting rid of right here in my arms. So, yeah. There's that. And next we're going to do highlighters. So I will be back. I am wearing pants. <laughs> Let's hurry up because my back's killing me. So um, these are all my highlighters, obviously. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. Um, this is the shade Pearl and just gross. This is too white, silvery for my liking. So I know some people... Um, you know, we'll use them for eyeshadow and things like that. I mean, honestly, I have so much eyeshadow. If you've seen my eyeshadow declutter collection, whatever video, I'll link it in the corner. But I, I don't need to, you know, I don't even like the shade, so. Uh, same thing with this Laura Gell Laura, I was going to say Laura Gelder, Laura Geller Gilded Honey Baked Glottal Swirl Illuminator. This is just way too golden. I mentioned before, I don't really like golden tones on me. I think it just doesn't look natural um, to me, on me, whatever. Um, if that's you, do you, boo. But it's not me. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this Wet n Wild. I feel so bad I'm like picking on Wet n Wild. I really don't mean it. But they, they have tons of great products. It's just this is not one of them, <laughs> in my opinion. The Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. It's just too glittery, too like pinky for me. So there's that. Um, oh my gosh, definitely keeping Living Luminizer by RMS Beauty, another uh, Jessica Braun recommendation, as is um, the Magic Luminizer. Sorry, I'll show them to you. I'm not swatching anything, but I'll show you. I don't use this one as much. It has these weird bumps in them. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just like air bubbles. Um, this one doesn't have them, but you can see this one's uh, well up. So, keeping these. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I love this highlighter. Very unassuming. I thought, um, I remember this gained a lot of traction because of Kathleen Lights. I got it and I was just like, hmm, looks very unassuming. It almost looks like a face powder because it's dark, but it is so beautiful, so natural. Love this. This dang girl. Oh, that was really, sorry, that was rough. Gonna get rid of the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls. Um, she also uh, raved about this. A lot of people say they have difficulty and scrape off the top and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm just not interested in, in, in sorry, just not interested. I'm tired. In it. And it's just a little too, like, I don't know. The baked thing. It's dry. I'm just, you know, not feeling it. Oh, the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla Portofino. Love this. So, 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 so. So, so, so good. Um, my favorite side is this, which is French Vanilla. And if you watch Emily Noel, she raves about the French Vanilla Highlighter by Laura Geller. And uh, I just wanted the split pan because I liked having the other option to go a little more intense. But, you know, you basically get three in one. You can use French Vanilla, you can use Portofino, you can swirl them together. And it is 
Gaugeois. So there's that. This is the NARS Fort de France. This is a little more golden um, in comparison to a lot of highlighters that I have, but it's not this. <laughs> so oh crap, I'm fine with that. Um, I think Alana likes that too. Uh, I know I'm referencing all these YouTubers. You can tell how much I watch. Um, love this Glow All Out by Soap and Glory. And it's, it's weird. It looks almost like a blush. Um, but it, it's, it's so like, I don't want to say wet. It's just so like shiny on the cheeks. I love it. So love that. Love the Laura Mercier. Um, it is weird though. Cause a lot of people say that it's like, it looks natural and it, it's, you know, like this, the essence pure nude is a dupe for this and yada, yada, yada. But I don't know. This is kind of like shimmery in my opinion. Um, it's it's odd to me that some people don't describe it that way because it's obvious so i don't know I, I don't know it's just bizarre to me um so yeah anything with like these weird like stickers i just cut up paper and, and taped them onto the products um i was like trying to do a project pan um i might get back into that but anything with that is you know a product i chose but failed at so <laughs> Then we're almost done here. I don't really have a lot. Keeping Mary Lou because she's the girl. She's the business. Um, what else? Keeping this makeup forever in what is this? Oh, I forgot. Their things don't have names, do they? I don't know. Pro Light Fusion Undetectable Luminizer. SR0301. Oh, what the heck that is, but keeping that and this is what I mean so this is like too white for me too stark this is a little too pink but then this is you know like a perfect combination of the two so there's that oops gotta close this um ugh, this Becca vanilla quartz it's just too weird, like white gold for me. I don't know. I don't. Uh, you can leave. Goodbye. Then, oh, definitely keeping all of these Becca bronzers. This is the Lilac Geode. And it's just fun to use every once in a while. So I really enjoy that. Love the packaging too. This is the Prismatic Amethyst. Love that one as well. And then these are there. I got these on sale the uh, light chaser highlighters and this is in rose quartz flashes seashell and this one is in champagne dream flashes bellini so they look so cool on the cheeks they're really fun to use when you want to like you know do a little extra i love this benefit whatsapp or what well, whatsapp what's up it's a really nice champagne peachy golden but not too golden kind of shade i just named a billion colors but whatever the uh cover effects moonlight this is nice too it kind of reminds me of the essence pure nude in that it looks like a face powder because it's pretty deep i guess you you would say for like a highlighter but it's really really beautiful so i got this on sale too. then the aspen ovard Pixie highlighter in Santorini Sunset. Keeping that. That's one that's, you know, golden, but not too golden. Like I said, this, I don't know why this is like, you know, a holy grail of people, because that is just like gold. This is the Ciate Moon Dust highlighter. Got this on sale too. And this is a little deeper than the other pink one. Where is this? The Makeup Forever. But it's not like blush pink. So keeping that. This is a nice um actually I wonder if these could be a dupe. Ooh, maybe I can Ooh. I'll have to try that out. I never really noticed that before. I mean, how can I when I have like all this crap? I'm gonna keep this over. It's the only one that I own and I do enjoy it, but you do need a light hand. Um this is the Beverly Hills highlighter. And this uh, Lorac Starlight, I'm going to keep as well. This is their, um, I don't know, highlighter. It doesn't, doesn't really 
It's violet, okay? And then lastly, these two, these are creams. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. I got this in, I don't know, maybe a boxy charm or something. I don't know if this is still good. I do like it though. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla frosting. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. And then this one, oh my gosh, this is a freaking mess. I remember this. I used to use this and it just freaking explodes everywhere. Hmm. I don't know that this is safe to use. Damn, that sucks because this is really beautiful. It looks crazy dark, like a shiny new penny, but when you put it on, it almost, I don't know how to, it, it not disappears, but it doesn't necessarily have pigment to it. It almost just blends away and leaves this really sheeny, like, I don't know, look to the skin. And it's it's bizarre, but I I really did enjoy using this. And I don't know if it, it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad like feet or, you know, but it smells like, I don't know, alcohol? Yeah, it smells like freaking whiskey. <laughs> That's odd. Um, I'll keep it and do like a test patch just to see, but this is really beautiful. It is the Beauty Crop Lighting Crew Highlighting Cream Nourished with Pineapple and Green Tea. And I got this in maybe like an Ipsy or something like that, a boxy charm, who knows, but I really did um, enjoy using this. So this is uh, not the best, but this is everything that I am keeping. And these are the highlights I'm getting rid of. So something is better than nothing. Other people can use these. Um, I don't think I've mentioned it before, but uh, when I give these away, I'm basically gonna send these to product, 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 ow, sorry, everything hurts. Project Beauty Share and, um, you know, see if they can uh, give these to women um, in need. And anything that I can't, which I mean really doesn't, there isn't a lot, like I don't have a lot of liquids and things like that, that that can't easily be sanitized. So I think these should be fine. But anything that's like, I know is super old and I wouldn't even give it to like my sister or my mom or my best friend, I would chuck them. But I don't really think that's the case here. Um, I mean, I guess they, they can be the judge of that, but I'm gonna send these to them. Um, I don't really give to, no, I don't really, I really don't. <laughs> um to friends or family just because um i know everyone's situation everyone that's you know close to me at least and i know that we're all a lot um i feel like i should be facing you guys sorry hopefully this isn't like crazy um like off kilter this is just like some insurance that i need to take care of um at paxson um or like sent to paxson but uh yeah, it's just, I don't know. Um, everyone close to me is, you know, we're not well off, but we're better than a lot of people. So I, it just feels weird or wrong to me to kind of like to pass something on to my sister when she has her own makeup already and to kind of add to that when there are people that have nothing. Um, I don't know, I'd rather just give to the people that have nothing. Not, it's nothing against my sister, you know, I'm not trying to be selfish or anything like that. I give my sister, you know, a lot of the makeup that my sister already has is from me. Um, but she, you know, she has a lot and I do too. And, you know, if I give it to her, it's basically the same as me keeping it because we're both okay. We don't need this stuff. We have more than what we need. Um, so why not just, you know, share, spread the love and, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, if you guys want to see, uh, I'll bring you back down. Sorry. This is the highlighters, the blushes that I'm keeping and bronzers that I'm keeping. So again, more, absolutely more than I could ever need or go through but like I said things change your taste change and all that kind of stuff so yeah we'll see how you know my declutter some of these I already have some in mind that I might not like but I want to be sure um and then this is everything that I am going to be sending away so um I hope they're acceptable I hope people will you know make use of them I hope it'll make people happy um, that's always a nice, 
uh, you know, a nice feeling. But anyway, so that was it. Um, now I have to go rearrange these. Hopefully I don't have to buy more containers because I feel like, I don't know if you like have a makeup collection. I mean, you probably do if you're watching this, but if you have like a container and there are certain missing spots, you feel inclined to fill them. And I don't want to have, I don't want to keep buying containers to fill my collection. I want to have a curated collection, um, you know, that can fit in a certain amount of space so that I don't feel the need to keep expanding upon it. Um, you know, but I do, I love makeup. It's a hobby of mine. I collect it, obviously. Um, I like having options. I choose to change my makeup up, see, uh, to, to change, what? <laughs> to change my makeup up, to switch my makeup up, to change, that's not a good, to switch up my makeup. Boom. Um, seasonally so i mean the, you know obviously you do whatever you want to do but i like to do that i have this crazy look on my eyes i know because i did the declutter which again i i linked up in the cards or in the cards or wherever it is on the screen um and i am on the fence with the nyx uh ultimate brights palette that was one that i pulled aside to get more use out of to see whether or not i want to hang on to it i chose to use it today and I wanted like to match my shirt, so I put some like yellow green in the corners and some like like turquoise on the center, and then purple on the outside um, corner, and then into the crease. So sorry, I'm like trying to show you, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I didn't like the look. Uh, the shadows aren't true to color or true to the pan. Um, they're very like washed out. This turquoise ended up looking more blue than it does in the pan. Um, this yellow hardly shows up. The purple kind of turned pink. So I'll play around with it a little bit more, but I wouldn't be surprised if I um, get rid of that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to keep you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know it wasn't super cutthroat, but you know, like I said, in my opinion, it is wasteful if I'm just giving things away just to give them away because I did you or I did spend my money on these things. Um, so I want to know, I don't mind giving things away, but I want to know that I at least tried it, you know, gave it a fair chance before I just gave it away. Um, otherwise, I, you know, if that was the case, I shouldn't be buying things because I'm just going to be handing them out, you know, not made of money. But anyway, so yeah, that's it. Indeed, you want to see Oh my god, Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Sorry, my legs are really, really itchy. I don't know what happened. Um, it was like being on this dusty floor with freaking Indies hair everywhere. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and like it, or I guess that is thumbsing it up. Thumbs upping? Thumbsing it up. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, um, share the video with your friends. Um, it would really, you know, help me out. And yeah, you can comment down below if you have any suggestions for any other videos you'd like to see. I'm getting tired and I'm like getting some tired. Um, did I forget to say anything? I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna leave.